you have a bunion and think your only option is surgery? Do you think you're going to be stuck in orthotics, can't wear the shoes you like, and can't be active throughout treatment? Make sure you check out this video. I'm going to take you through how you can avoid bunion surgery and how we can often treat it successfully without any need for surgical intervention. My name's Daniel Fitzpatrick here from Sydney Foot Solutions. Make sure you check out this video. I'm going to take you through how we successfully recently treated a teenage girl with a bunion, how you can do it without orthotics, without surgery. She stayed active throughout the whole process. I'll even give you proof on how we help to correct to a degree her big toe back into a better position. So if you're wondering what a bunion is, a bunion is primarily a level of deviation through your big toe that results in that deviation and the bony lump on this particular side. The reason you get a bunion is because of the way you stand and the way you walk, and that results in compensation that leads to a deviation of the big toe. And in fact, we see stacks and stacks of bunions. And just to sort of give you some context, one in three people has a bunion. It's an incredibly common issue and an incredibly common problem. And most people don't realize that you don't need to consider surgical intervention if you actually have a bunion. So a teenage girl recently uh, came into our clinic. Her mum was concerned because there was a history of bunions in the family and she wanted to avoid her daughter getting a bunion. She was a very active soccer player and she didn't want to wear orthotics and she had to remain active throughout treatment. And her mum was worried that, particularly with her activity levels, that if it was left, her only option would be surgical intervention. And the great news is, is that that is right up our alley. In fact, we see well over a hundred bunions a week and we successfully have treated bunions for over 20 years. And so we do stacks and stacks and stacks of the same thing. So this was right in our ballpark. So as I say, she came in for an assessment and this is why we offer our initial bunion assessment offer. So if you are interested in getting your bunion checked out, make sure you check out the link below. It's 60% off an initial bunion assessment. So you can get individual advice on your bunion. And so need to say this, Nicole came in and we did a full assessment. We went for a weight bearing x-ray just to double check things. And then we measured up the level of deviation through the, through the bunion and make sure you check out the end of this video. I'm going to go through those before and after x-rays so you can physically see the changes in the bunion that we created through a very conservative management approach. So we started on a course of treatment and we saw her, I believe once a week for 12 weeks, the manual therapy itself, what she was coming in for was a manual therapy where we work on correcting that level of alignment. And the great news is we did see a significant improvement in the big toe area, as you'll see when we go through that individually, when we cut from that particular slide. To give you an idea, the ideal reading for a bunion should be between 10 and 15 degrees. That's technically anatomically straight. When we met Nicole, she was at 30, just under 35 degrees. So 15 is ideal. She was at 35 degrees. That's a reasonably advanced bunion, particularly for someone who's 15. To say, uh, she was very compliant with her exercise and her and her mum were great at coming in for their appointments once a week for 12 weeks. The, the treatment is just a very gentle hands-on technique, very light, it's very quick. We did combine it with laser therapy to break the inflammatory cycle as well, which is very, very helpful and helps to break any pain and really speeds up and accelerates any progression. And needless to say, we were, we were thrilled when we went for an after x-ray and the 35 degrees had gone down to 17 degrees. So I am going to cut to that in just a moment. It's just to give you some context around how that works and the before and after x-rays. The, the great thing is, is that in our practice, because we deal with so many onions, what the standard procedure is that we usually, if it is indicated after your initial assessment, we send you for a weight bearing x-ray. Okay. So here are the before and afters of this particular patient's left foot that we had a really good result over a 12 week cycle of treatment for their bunion. But what we can see through here, so we will look, definitely you will look through this area here compared to this area here. You'll notice that their bunion, so the ideal reading for a bunion is about 10 to 15 degrees. So when they came to see us, they were just under 35 degrees. That's 34.7 just in there. And what you can see is that their big toe has started to straighten up to this area, standing to 16.9. So definitely a really, really great result. And the good news is, is that by far the best is yet to come when we have a look at this. What's really interesting is how much the forefoot has reduced in this particular female patient. We can see a significant change within the structures. We can also see that the underlying cause down here has improved significantly. So the structures have improved a great deal. 
This is really, really important. This is one of the huge advantages of improving function of overall foot and ankle layer, say just the surgical procedure, is that we can actually help to realign the foot, which long-term has a much more positive effect on the overall function, balance, and coordination of the patient's foot and ankle. So just to recap, the patient presented in a pretty, pretty significant bunion angle of about 35 degrees. Keep in mind the idea where you should be about 15 degrees. And then we've taken this down to 17 degrees and we would expect further improvement with less involvement from us as the patient continues to strengthen through this particular area, as well as we had, we have helped one of the underlying causes significantly as well, reduce the forefoot, improve balance and improve coordination. So I hope this was helpful and I hope it helps to show just, just what we can achieve through, through conservative management approaches. And by all means, make sure you check out the link below if you want to get your button checked uh, and particular advice, special to, especially for your needs. That weight bearing x-ray allows us to objectively measure what your needs might be and then come up with a plan moving forward. So I hope this video was helpful. I, I hope that this helps to enlighten and let you know that there is an alternative to surgery, if you wish, for bunion treatment. The great thing is it doesn't involve orthotics. You don't have to view your footwear and you can stay active. And it's just a very gentle hands-on technique called foot mobilization therapy or manual therapy. And then we combine that with exercise therapy. And we also use laser therapy and acupuncture just to help to break up the pain in the inflammatory cycle. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, check out the link below. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video and feel free to subscribe to our channel. We try and put lots of helpful stuff out there so that we can help improve your foot health long term. Thank you very much for watching.